Woo! Oh my gosh, right here. Look at this, guys. First cast in a foreign country. I'm, I'm here in Alkmaar, Netherlands, and I caught a pike. Didn't even have the GoPro turned on. Just took like a poking hope, lucky cast. And I caught this pike. Awesome. And they're hitting the kite tack. <laughs> that is awesome right there. Gorgeous pike. I'll take it. Whew. So like I said, I'm here in Alkmaar, Netherlands. I was in Amsterdam yesterday. That's where I flew into. And whew. so awesome. I did not expect that at all. Crazy. trying this bridge here. I had to retie a little bit. That pike annihilated my 15 pound fluoro. I definitely should probably have like 20 or 30. And if I get cut off, I'll probably switch to like a stick bait or, you know, a rapala. Something, uh, you know, fairly large so I can keep uh, the teeth away from the leader. But man, yeah, first fish already. Oh, fish on already. Look at this, second cast fish. What is this? Woo! Ha <laughs> little redfin perch. <laughs> yes, man. That's a cool fish. Look at those fins. Awesome. They get much bigger than this, so hopefully we get a bigger one. Definitely have some bait here. Very interesting. Oh, okay, I see the bait. They almost kind of look like shiners. Or they could be small baby uh, red fins. That's probably like the candy for pike and xander in these canals. What's really interesting is these canals actually used to be like part of the sewer system. And uh, I guess over, you know, years and years of uh, finally cleaning up, there's a fish right there. Nice little pikey, northern pike. I have a feeling these guys are gonna be pretty easy to catch today. See you later, buddy, but I'll take them. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving. I don't have a lot of time to fish, so I definitely wanna cover a lot more water and fish a lot more canals. And this first canal that I fished at and uh, caught two of my targeted freshwater species here in the Netherlands uh, is like a shallower section of canals and uh, I'm gonna wor start working my way over to a deeper section and the deeper section might give me a better opportunity for some larger fish and as well as some Xander so uh, that's what I'm gonna do I want you know my three target species for freshwater are northern pike redfin perch and Xander okay here we go another redfin Woo, look at that little guy. What I've noticed is like they have pretty much the same body build as a yellow perch, but for their size, they have a lot larger mouth. So that's why they can eat this Easy Shiner Kitek. See you later, buddy. Stock looks good. It's always gotta be a fish under a dock. There we go. Another little red fin. All right, I gotta keep moving, but I wanna change out my GoPro battery first. Huge shout out to uh, KLM Airlines, by the way. My flight yesterday was phenomenal. <laughs> uh, I, I've never been on a plane with so much free service 
of uh, different kinds of drinks, food. It was just uh, really awesome. And I also met a really nice girl, so <laughs> that flight was uh, <laughs> the best flight I've ever been on, all I can say. Just gotta change out this battery. And I had a buddy actually, or, or a subscriber, a friend, you know, uh, he uh, reached out to me after he found out that I was coming to the Netherlands. And he wrote me like a book of information of where I can catch uh, different species as well as Xander, Pike, and uh, Redfin Perch. And he even like printed out or sent me maps with, uh, you know, specific like instructions of where fish usually hang out. So he knows who he is. I just want to say thank you. And I'm actually going to go to one of those spots that he recommended that I check out right about right now, actually. Oh geez, biggin. No! That's what that's what happens when you're using 15 pound fluoro as a leader. You lose big fish like that. So I'm gonna try something a little different here. This bait and see if this will help me not lose as many fish. Especially, you know, if the fish hits the end, then he's you know his teeth are nowhere near the line. Oh my gosh, oh yeah. Oh, stay on there. That was a crazy strike. Look at this bird. This bird's trying to eat the pike. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this bird has little babies over there. These pike probably eat the babies. Yeah, my heart is racing. Oh, whoo, that's a nice pike right there. The one I lost on the swim bait probably was a little bigger. Whoa, totally awesome. I don't catch this many pike in the States, so it's really interesting and different to uh, really get on them pretty good here in uh, Netherlands. That pike got me a little bit. Bleeding a little bit, that's all right. It's worth it, we're fishing. That strike was absolutely, oh, kitty. Hey kitty, that's the second cat I've seen today, but that strike was absolutely phenomenal. Whew, that fish just exploded on it. Hey kitty, kitty likes the camera. Hey you, you're a lovely cat. Always making friends wherever I go. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. he got vicious there. He didn't like that. Oh, jeez. Giant. Giant, and he crushed it. Oh, jeez. Oh, he is so wrapped up. Okay, Let's see if I can lift this fish up. He's kind of big though. Oh, yeah. Nice pike right there. Whew. Switching to the stick bait definitely paid off. Getting a little bit bigger. Besides that mouth. That was a lucky catch, a lucky catch, very lucky, because I have like no way to get down and get the fish. Yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and uh, 
see you guys out in the water. I hope you're looking forward to some more Netherlands videos and uh, yeah, get out and catch some fish. <laughs>